and I will demonstrate and show you a real life shipping label with that kind of savings, but that's gonna come later in the video. Hey everyone, it's Lindy, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna talk about using PirateShip.com for shipping packages to buyers. Because if you're not using Pirate Ship by now, you could be wasting some serious money on shipping. When I say serious, I'm talking about up to 50%. That's right, I'm actually going to show you a certain circumstance where Pirate Ship could save you nearly 50% of your shipping cost. And no, Pirate Ship is not paying me for promotion and Pirate Ship's site is free. So let's get into talking about Pirate Ship and why exactly you should be using this free service if you're not already. So a little under a year ago, I put out a video on my YouTube channel that has since become the most popular video on my YouTube channel, and it was all about how to ship heavy items as cheap as possible. I will definitely make sure to link that video down in my video description. I'll also pin it to the top pinned comment in the comment section. But near the end of that video, I discussed using Pirate Ship. Now I did demonstrate how to print a shipping label and I talked about why exactly pirate ship is a much cheaper option in some circumstances. But ever since filming that video, I have had a lot of questions come up from viewers about using pirate ship and how exactly it works. So in that video, I did demonstrate how to print the shipping label and how exactly it can save you some money in certain circumstances. But I really neglected to go into a lot of detail about pirate ship simply because that's not the main focus of that video in particular. So this video today, I want to go over pirate ship and hopefully answer all of the questions that people have had surrounding pirate ship and how exactly it works. Pirate Ship is a free site. There is no membership fee and they do have the functionality to be able to integrate your eBay store with it to make importing your shipping labels as seamless as possible. To be completely honest, I'm still baffled as to why Pirate Ship is not yet a paid service. So the first question that I want to answer is probably the most frequent question that I get and that is when you print a shipping label through PirateShip.com, what exact service are you using and how do you ship that item? Does the package need to have any special markings? Can you put it in any kind of packaging? What service provider do you actually drop the package off with to make sure that it gets to the person that you're mailing it to? So to make pirate ship a lot less confusing, just imagine pirate ship as being the United States Postal Service. Because when you print a shipping label through pirateship.com, you are essentially buying a USPS shipping label. And that's because with pirate ship, you actually only have two different United States Postal Service services that you can use. And that is priority mail and first class. So now the regular first class service that you are able to purchase through Pirate Ship is the same as first class on any other commercial rated platform. It's the exact same as if you were to buy a first class label on eBay, if you bought a first class label on PayPal. Now it's the priority service that Pirate Ship offers that differentiates it between other commercial platforms that you buy priority mail through. When you purchase a priority label using another commercial service such as PayPal or eBay, you are strictly paying a rate that is based off of the weight and size of the priority package that you are sending. And what makes Pirate ship different from these other commercial services is when you buy priority through pirate ship, you are actually using what is referred to as cubic priority. So this means that you are paying a priority rate that is based more on the size of the item rather than the weight of it. So that means that the smaller the priority package is, the less the rate will be compared to the other commercial services that base their rates on the weight of the package itself. And this leads me into answering the next question that I see so frequently in regards to pirate ship. And that is what circumstances would pirate ship be a better option for a cheaper shipping rate. Now comparing services site to site can be very, very time consuming. So in my experience, the only time I will compare a shipping rate to pirate ship as opposed to just printing my shipping labels through eBay is if I have a very heavy package that is smaller than 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. In my experience, typically any package that is larger than 12 inches on any side, it would be cheaper to go with FedEx or UPS as the preferred 
lower rate shipping method. But if you have a package that's smaller than 12 inches on every side, even though it's very heavy, that's a really good candidate to see if you can save money by shipping through pirate ship versus paying by weight. Now, something else to note when you are shipping through pirate ship, there is no option for flat rate boxes, flat rate envelopes, or regional boxes. If you are brand new to my YouTube channel, I do have several videos where I talk about shipping merchandise. I will definitely make sure to link that shipping playlist down in the video description for you if videos about shipping interest you. But if you've watched my videos, you know that I frequently ship using a flat rate envelope or regional A box. And that's because a lot of the times using a flat rate envelope or a regional box gets a better deal than pirate ship. And that's because when you're looking at pirate ship's rates, there are no option to use those services. It is strictly cubic priority. And a lot of the times those discounted rates that you can get on eBay when you use a flat rate or a regional box, those savings definitely overshadow whatever rate pirate ship can give me. However, there are those circumstances where I have heavy merchandise that does not fit in a regional A, nor does it fit into a flat rate envelope. And those are the circumstances where I turn to pirate ship to save me big money. And when I say big money, I mean big money money. There are circumstances where pirate ship can save me nearly 50% of the commercial shipping rate that I'm able to get on PayPal or eBay. And I will demonstrate and show you a real life shipping label with that kind of savings. The next question that I want to talk about is how to handle the tracking number that you receive when you print a label through pirate ship. And this is where it comes in very, very handy if you just simply link up your eBay store directly through pirate ship site. That's because when you import your shipping labels directly from eBay into pirate ship, this also means that the tracking number automatically uploads into the eBay sale. So when you print your shipping label through pirate ship, having imported it directly from eBay, there's nothing else you need to do once that package is shipped. The tracking number is automatically in your eBay sale. Now, if you decide not to link up your eBay account and you are just creating shipping labels individually, every time you need one, you just simply copy the tracking number that's on Pirate Ship and just upload it into the eBay listing and that's really all you have to do. But it is a much more seamless process when you simply import your eBay listings rather than creating a brand new shipping label from scratch every single time you need to ship something using Pirate Ship. So now unfortunately if you're needing to ship items that you sold on Facebook Marketplace or Mercari and you are generating your own shipping label, you cannot seamlessly integrate those platforms into pirate ship at this time you will just simply have to manually enter in your buyer's information print the shipping label and then upload the tracking all by hand versus doing it through the eBay site where you have it automatically upload. Now to answer the question, do you need to have any special markings or use special packaging on any shipment that you print a shipping label through Pirate Ship? The answer to that is no. Remember how I said at the very beginning, when you ship through Pirate Ship, just consider it like the United States Postal Service because that's the exact method of shipment that you are using. You can use any priority box, any priority label, you can use any poly bag, you can use any box. The only caveat to this is that you cannot use a flat rate envelope, flat rate box, or regional box, nor can you use the priority express boxes. Those are the only circumstances that you cannot put a shipping label that you printed through PirateShip.com. And that again is because when you print a priority label through Pirate Ship, it's considered cubic priority. You cannot get a regional rate, you cannot get a flat rate, and you cannot get priority express services through the pirate ship platform. So that means that any box that has those indicators on the packaging, you cannot put a pirate ship printed label on those. But if you have a standard priority mail, white and red mailing box or Tyvek envelope, or if you just have a standard poly bag or box that you wanna use, you can definitely put those labels on those. Something else that I wanted to note is a benefit to shipping priority through PayPal 
or eBay is you automatically get insurance with priority mail service. And that is still the case with Pirate Ship. As a matter of fact, whenever you print a shipping label through Pirate Ship, your package is automatically insured up to $100. So you still get all of the benefits to paying for a priority label. You just get it much cheaper in certain circumstances when you ship through PirateShip.com. So now is the part you have all been waiting for. I actually want to take you into my computer and I want to show you PirateShip.com in action. I'm going to show you an actual shipping label that is a standard commercial rate and compare it to the rate that we can get on PirateShip.com. And then I'm going to even demonstrate how to get that rate even cheaper than you thought. But real quick, before I show you that real life example, I do want to just thank the sponsor of today's video. Wholesale Ninjas is a huge sponsor of my YouTube channel and they have been partnering with me for roughly a year and a half now. They are by far my favorite liquidation company and the best supplier that I have found to get merchandise to resell in my eBay store. Of all of the companies that I have sourced with, their merchandise is by far the most consistent and the quality control is the best that I have found. Wholesale Ninjas is seriously the first company that I have found where I can get wholesale quality product for a liquidation price. Every time I receive a shipment from Wholesale Ninjas, all of the merchandise is always impeccably packaged, which is really important to me because I sell a lot of health, beauty, cosmetics, and a lot of that merchandise has a higher risk of damage or leak during transit. And so that means that the less damage that I have to deal with, the more I can maximize my profits. I do have a coupon code for them. The code is Lindy25 and it gets you $25 off of anything on the Wholesale Ninjas website. I will make sure sure to put the discount code down in the video description and I'll also link to some of my favorite lots that they have on their site. Thank you again to Wholesale Ninjas for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. It's sponsors like Wholesale Ninjas that allows me to bring consistent content to my YouTube channel for my viewers. So now I'm going to take you into my computer and I'm going to show you a real life example of pirate ship saving me nearly 50% on a shipping label. Here I'm just creating a shipping label from scratch. I'm just using a made up person with a made up address. I'm just doing this just to demonstrate the difference in price across a regular commercial rate versus the pirate ship rate. So here, Mr. John Smith that lives in Beverly Hills, California, zip code 90210, we are going to ship something to him. And it is 12 by eight by four inches and it weighs five pounds. So if we go over here to PayPal, so this is if we were to print a shipping label for him just using the standard commercial rate, which is what PayPal gives us. So if you just go to paypal.com slash ship now, that's how you are able to just generate a generic shipping label using the commercial shipping rate. So I did the exact same packaging, 12 inches by eight inches by four inches, five pounds going priority mail, which is exactly what pirate ship is. It's priority mail. The shipping rate that I am given that is the standard commercial rate is $16 and 87 cents. So to ship this five pound 12 by eight by four inch box to Mr. John Smith, it would cost me $16 and 87 cents in the standard commercial rate. So let's see what this same size box gives us for pirate ship. Click get rates and pirate ship wants us to pay $11 and 79 cents. So let's see here, 1687 minus 1179. So pirate ship has just saved us $5 and eight cents on this one package, five bucks and pirate ships completely free to use. Sometimes this still blows my mind whenever I see these price differences. So the standard commercial rate versus the pirate ship rate saved us $5.08, but it gets better than that. Don't think that that's as good as it gets because I want to show you something else. So we're going to go back to the previous step. Now here's what happens when we take it out of the box option and we're going to say the box 
in a bag option. This means that you are going to take your box and you're going to stick it inside of an envelope, a poly bag, a soft pack. So it's not necessarily just you shipping a box anymore. Now you're putting the box inside of a bag. I want to show you the price difference here. So now we still have the exact same size box. The only difference is we are going to put that box inside of a bag that we measure is 15 inches by 12 inches. Still the same weight, still the same box. Nothing else has changed except for the fact that we are putting it in a bag that measures 15 by 12 inches. Now let's see what rate we get. Now our rate has dropped to $9 and 68 cents. So 1687 was that original shipping label. 968 is our new shipping rate having put that box inside of a poly bag. And now that means that Pirate Ship has saved us $7.19. That is nearly half of what the commercial rate was. That exact same box, that 12 inch by eight inch by four inch box, just simply doing the pirate ship rate saved us a little over $5, but then the act of putting that box into a poly bag saved us $7.19 from the original commercial shipping price. Is your mind blown yet? This is why shipping on pirate ship is so powerful. And this is why I say, if you are not on pirate ship already, you should be. I really hope that that knocked your socks off because I'm blown away every time I see the savings whenever I use pirate ship. So there's two more things that I wanted to talk about in reference to the box in the bag option because I know that that probably made you guys even more excited seeing the price go down even further just by selecting that option. The two things that I wanted to make note of for that is number one, whenever you use the box in the bag option, you do need to measure the bag without the box box inside. That is going to ensure that you are paying the most accurate cubic priority rate. So if you have a bag that is 10 inches by 13 inches, those are the measurements that you're going to use for that option. Now I know a question that you probably have is, where can I find a 15 inch by 12 inch bag like you just used in that demonstration? Come here. It's a little, it's a little secret between you and me. Just cut the bag. You didn't hear that here. Yeah, no, you can actually cut bags down to size. It is okay to cut a bag down as long as you don't mess with the seams. So if the base of the bag, if you leave those seams alone, if the top of the bag, if you have a lot of empty space, you can simply just cut the empty space off of the top of the bag and just fold it over that way. That will make your bag a little bit smaller and get you the better rate. Again, that doesn't mean that you can cut the seams and manipulate the size of the bag in its entirety. That just means if you have a lot of dead space at the top of the bag, you can just simply trim it off to make your bag smaller if that's what you need. So now I wanna hear from you. Do you already use Pirate Ship? Does it save you a bunch of money every single month on your shipping labels? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. That really does help out my YouTube channel and I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell. That way you're notified whenever I post a new video. Don't forget to check the video description. I will put a lot of useful information in there as well as everything that I referenced in this video. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye-bye.